Okay, everybody, here is a quick uh, tutorial video for PaintShop Pro, how to add these sort of drop shadows or sort of make the text raised and 3D looking. So uh, typically speaking, I'll go ahead and, and grab a still frame from one of my videos. Um, just use a standard grabbing tool, whatever you like. And I'll uh, copy that to my clipboard and then I'll paste it in here as a new image. Okay, so then you can add your text, whatever you'd like. Okay. And then you can resize it. It is a vector at this point, so make it as big as you like. Great. Then we'll go up to Effects, 3D Effects, Drop Shadow. It'll then tell you that you need to convert, or it will convert it from a vector to a raster layer. So you're not going to want to resize that layer again after that, but that's fine. And then they bring you up to the last settings that you use. There's a handful of presets above wide left, above wide right, below left, below wide right. Typically speaking, below right is what most people want, but you can see that it's really dispersed. It's not at all like what we had just a minute ago. Let me go back to last used. So you can make this offset as much as you'd like so that you can make it a little bit bigger. You can change the blur values uh, down from no blur all the way up, you know, to whatever you'd like it to be uh, to give it sort of that diffused look. And you could also change um, the opacity as well to make it look um, thinner or lighter, more transparent. All right, so I like to just kind of put it in there and then you have sort of a blur value that gives it a blur type effect. And that looks pretty good. You can also change the shadow by just grabbing this and moving it around. So if you, for example, wanted to drop shadow like that, you could do that as well. Um, there are a whole bunch of different ways you could do this, of course, and it's all previewed here on the image. So I kind of like that, we'll stick with that. There you go, and you'll notice that the raster layer is still all by itself. So if you'd like, you can still grab this whole thing here and move it around. If you wanted to put it at the top or the bottom, move it to the left or right. So it is all still on its own layer, but just understand it's no longer a vector and you can't rescale it without losing any sort of quality. That's it. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at this. Thanks so much for watching.